um, tarmac delays, much, yeah. <laughs> much in the news. Um, I thought, in, you know, in, in talking to FAA leadership after last October's incident, I mm -hmm. thought uh, the FAA took a very constructive approach going forward to bring everybody together, you mm -hmm. know, let's learn what happened. Um, let's try to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Can you talk a little bit about how you work with DOT on this issue? And then what, what's the prospect? Are there, is there any prospect for any additional rulemaking or anything like that going forward? Well, first, I really want to thank the airport community. Um, after October of last year, there was a lot of um, critiques and criticisms of airports. And I will say that the airport community really stood up and really got out there and um, wanted to work with all their different stakeholders to make sure something like that never happened again. And, and that was really nice to see. And we, we really embraced that because there were a lot of lessons learned from, from what happened in October. Um, not only lessons learned, you know, in an airport setting, but here at FAA and at COT. So we all sort of had takeaways from what happened. Uh, we work very closely with our partners over at DOT um, to make sure that uh, you know, we have a, f a full system uh, when it comes to these contingency plans. And as you know, um, the contingency plans and the review of them are housed in the General Counsel's Office at DOT, mm -hmm. but we feed into that process. And if they have any questions, um, we are very happy to answer them. We actually walk them through some of the, some of the different things um, because each airport sort of files their own, their own, their own way. There's, no, it, there's not like a cookie cutter way of doing your contingency plans. So mm -hmm. a lot of questions will come up and we are very happy to be working with with our colleagues over at DOT to make sure that all the questions get answered, that people are doing the right planning, and that we then are prepared going forward.